In the, the freedom uh, of expression, I mean the threats against freedom of expression, uh, censorship, internet freedom, and lately we, there was more highlights about the mass surveillance. It showed that we have the difficulty to get the governments to understand about the imports of internet because they see it as still as a threat. So they, 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 have, they want to have some controls and uh, to do a lot of regulation. So it's this kind of uh, conflict because some government, they, they understand about uh, the economic value of internet, but at the same time they want to regulate. And if you have two opposite goals, you, 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 you cannot achieve them. So there is some balance. I mean, the freedom is not limited. There is some restriction, and that's already in the in international legal instrument we have. So the government and also private sector, it's, they, they really represent some threats to the freedom of expression, because, but for different reasons. The government is more about regulate, about control, while the private sector, because they are creating a business model, then they are using our data. So they need to, um, to how they can get benefit from internet for their own interests. So it's really always in how to find the balance between the different conflicted interests, between the different stakeholders, and to ensure, I, won't, I cannot really say the public interest because it's always complicated to, uh, to find the definition for that single uh, term. So it's more is how you can find a balance and respecting the rights that already exist. So that's how I would see the, the issue here.